Today we're going to learn about Mexico because on Wednesday it is Cinco de Mayo and we're going to learn a little bit about the holiday today and throughout the week. So today we're going on a trip to Mexico. Here is the Mexican flag. We're going to take a closer look as to where Mexico is on Earth. Here is a map of our planet. We live right here in Reading, Pennsylvania. Mexico is right here. So from here to here, people usually take plane rides to get there. Here are some English and Spanish phrases that you already, you already know how to say in English and Spanish. So if you want to, you can take a look at them and, and um, go through some of them. These are the ones that you would say mostly when you're a tourist. So you can ask questions, say please and thank you. It's very important to also know where the bathroom is. I don't see that they have that on there though. So now we are going to think about Mexican weather. It is usually about 80 to 90 degrees. So year round, so it feels like summer year round there. Here's another picture of their flag. <clears throat> and now we're taking a plane ride. I think that's pretty fun. If you were going to take a plane ride to Mexico, it's about four and a half hours. <clears throat> you usually don't have to take two. You can usually take one. And we're going to be landing in the capital of Mexico City. Mexico City is home to almost nine million people. And look how big those towers are. Right outside the city, there is an old temple. Um, now, I really am bad at um, saying these names, but I'm going to try my best. So a long, long, long time, time ago, people called the Aztecs used to live there, and they built buildings like these or temples like these, and they're all over Mexico. Um, this one is right outside of the city, and it's one of the main temples um, in the city of Tech. I can't do this, but I'm going to try. Tenochtitlan. <laughs> I tried and um, it's like right outside of the city and it's over this one in particular is over 700 years old now we're going to talk about Mexican food which some of them you might be familiar with now I know we have a lot of guacamole and tacos at home but they also have tamales those are really good out of all of these, I think that's my favorite. A dessert called flan. And I have eaten corn like that, but I don't remember what it is called. And if you have seen this kind of food before, or eaten this kind of food before, I want you to tell a friend in class that you're near and tell them about it, what it tastes like and what you like about it. All right, now we're going to go to the Mayan ruins in the Yucatan Peninsula. That's over here. We were over here, now we're going over here. When I was a tourist in Mexico, I went to that place. You have to take a plane because it's on the other side of the country. And here is the temple that I actually saw. Um, so many people visit and tour the Mayan ruins in Mexico every year, and this is called the Chichen Itza Temple. I used to be able to climb up, but um, they actually closed it shortly after I went because of the erosion, the steps were we're going away so people couldn't safely get up and down and this is in Tulum they have a ton of temples there it's in um, Tulum is a Yucatan Mayan word for fence wall or trench the walls surrounding the site allow the Tulum fort to be defended against invasion so any intruders that would have been coming um, this would protect them, the people against the intruders or people who are not welcome there. And on our next video, we're going to start by looking at a school in Mexico.